Angela Giles here. I want to talk to you about all those fun people in your life that are like, you're going to do what? Whatever. You know, they make comments like that or they'll say, oh, you'll never succeed at that. That's a total scam or, yeah, well, good luck with that. But I'm not interested. No, thanks. You know, here's what I want to tell you. Have the courage to be different. You know why? Because it's truly someone different that is successful, that's extremely successful. Because if you look at life right now, 95% of business owners, whether you're in MLM, multi-level marketing, you're in direct sales, you own your own on, offline business, you, you're in a title business, you're a real estate owner, whatever, 95% of them are average Joe Blows and they fail within the first couple of years or they just barely scrape by. 5% of those people actually make it huge. They're very, very successful. You know what? Because they have one main ingredient. They have the courage to be different. They have the courage to stand up and say, you know what? I don't care what you think. Not in a rude way, but just within themselves. And there's so many things that go into this because they develop themselves. And you can you know, watch my, my other videos, um, especially the one about should you vacuum or run a business, or your perceived value or your personal growth. They're so simple. I try to make them very simple. But the point I'm trying to make is, is that you have to have the courage to be different than everybody else in order to be extremely successful, in order to achieve that dream. You have to have the courage to say, you know what? I'm going to stick to the plan I have. I'm going to stick with this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to take the time every day to do personal growth. I'm going to take the time to plant seeds about this business every single day to different people, whether it's offline or online or whatever method that's working for you or whatever method isn't working for you, to have the courage to try something different, to have the courage to forge ahead and to make relationships with people that are successful, even if you're afraid to go out and talk to those people and meet them and pick their brains and have them mentor you, to have the courage to stand up for yourself and ask for help, to have the courage to you know, take that extra $50, your last $50, and hire a web designer to create a web page for you if you don't know how to do it and start your first online business. Those are the kind of people that truly become successful because they have the courage to get out there and try something different. And I was one of those people. I remember it was a few years back and my really good friend Cecilia and I were doing a business. And I'm not going to tell you what the business is here in this video because it doesn't make any difference. Because it was about me. It wasn't about the business because the business is a great business. But what we decided to do was go hang flyers on people's doors about our business and tell them all how great it was. Well, So I spent literally my last $67 that I had for a business venture and I went out and we made flyers. We got up at 5 a.m. in the morning and we went out and put flyers all over this our neighborhood. You know, well, a little bit down the road. But anyways, the point being is, is I came home and I called in bed. It was about 7 in the morning. I just had my sweats on and a shirt. And actually, well, the point I'm trying to make is I heard this big boom and our house had caught on fire. We had instant combustion in our, in our garbage can in our garage. And I, it was crazy. I mean, my husband freaked out. I freaked out. Our, we had this huge garage fire. The fire department got there. I remember that I had holy underwear on and I'm like, Oh my gosh, you know, I mean, I spent my last $67 on, I remember walking up the, we went out in the backyard and we had a ladder the firemen had put down so we could walk over the, you know, go up the ladder and go over the other side to the neighbor's yard because we had big fences around our yards. And I remember my underwear sticking out and I had a shirt on, that, an underwear shirt with, that was full of holes. And I'm like, you know, they're going to see me in my holy underwear. Why didn't I spend that 67 bucks buying some new underwear? Okay, so I felt really stupid. But you know what? I had the courage to be different at that time. Instead of buying the things that I should have bought, you know, I decided, you know, I'm going to wear clothes that have stains. I'm going, nobody sees me anyways. You know, I'm at home. I'm going to have holy underwear. I don't care because I really wanted to make this business work. I spent money, you know, that other people would have said, you shouldn't have spent that money. So, you know, I talk about my underwear. It's kind of embarrassing. That's why I get kind of quiet about it. But the point I'm trying to make to you is, is I made a choice. 95% of the people out there probably wouldn't have made that choice. They probably would have gone to the mall and bought a new underwear where I wear holy ones. Even to this day, I still wear 
stuff that has stains my shirts and stuff all like that most of the time because you know what I don't like to spend the money on it I would rather spend the money on buying some software piece online that's just me because I always want to try the new things and then when I learn how to do them I like to share them with others because that's what I like to do but my point to you is, is I made a choice and you know what that six or seven dollars I spent on flyers it probably in retrospect was the stupidest thing I ever did but in hindsight it saved our lives because I was awake when this happened and three I learned from that. I learned that passing around flyers isn't probably my forte and that I can do a much better job either online in videos or in person or sharing with my story with people than just a flyer that says join this business because 99% of people are going to trash it anyways. So that's from my perspective. And so, But I had the courage to be different and yes, that $67 that I spent on flyers did not pay off for me in that particular venue, but it helped me save my children's lives and my husband's life. And I learned something from that. I learned that it's okay for me to fail because in failing, I will try something new until I figure out what works. And that's exactly what I did. I learned that I got online and I figured out how to online market and how to build a business there. So my point to you is, have the, in whatever business you're doing, whatever you're trying, have the courage to be different. Be part of that 5% that's afra not afraid to, if someone else says, you know, you're wasting your money, you're wasting your time, it's a scam, it's stupid, you know, you should spend your money elsewhere, or you should just go get a JLB, or you should get a second job, or, you know, Angela, you should do daycare instead of do an online business, because I used to do daycare, and just all kinds of different things. Have the courage to say, no, I'm going to do what I think is best. I'm going to stand up and I'm going to forge ahead until I find what works for me. And if you've already found it, that's great. Then just magnify it. And if you check out my other videos on, there's so many of them that I've made, but on personal growth and perceived value and forging relationships and attraction marketing and, you know, using the latest technology, there's videos out there that I've made that will teach you step by step how to do all of this stuff to point you in the right direction. Just help your business just be so successful. So. Have the courage to be different. Have the courage to stand up for yourself. And have the courage to be one of those top 5% that are extremely successful. God bless you. Make it an awesome day. Once again, remember, I'm Angela Giles. Please rate this video and please contact me. My information's everywhere on the internet. You can find my contact information. You can probably find it at the end of this video. I love to hear people's stories. It's really neat for me to meet new people. That's one of the things I love the best. Make it a great day and have the courage to be different.